As you can see, I use the tractor to flatten out the hot water tank. And I, I used the forks that I had built, and they were working pretty good, but they, they put some creases in it. And I think that if you built your frame first, and then you just used carriage bolts to connect the hot water tank to your frame, you wouldn't get the creases if you cared. I don't really care. This is, this is like a backyard hillbilly build, so I don't really care what it looks like. Um, I'll use it a couple times a year, and it will work for me. But if you care how things look and you want to give it you know, the, the best looking ability, just don't use your tractor to try to get some of the bend out. I ended up cutting off about 12 inches because I wanted it, the final product to be 72 inches wide because I didn't want this tractor to have too big of a plow. It, it has a pretty hard time pushing this plow at the 72 inches you know, straight on. I, I didn't have an angle on it yet and when I was using it so I think with an angle it would probably do better but at at the 72 inches and without chains the tractor does struggle a little bit. I wanted to plasma cut the back brackets out for the shape of the plow but and I do have a sheet of steel out in my yard I would rather not use my sheet of steel to create these brackets so I, I I used what I had available which was bed frame and the bed frame really isn't ideal I I hate using that steel for anything that's gonna have any kind of force on it cuz it it just crumbles so anyways I I hope you enjoyed this video I will be uploading more of these videos as I continue on and if you'd like to track this progress just just subscribe anyways thanks for watching